beautiful people. Okay, so this is a bomb vlog, okay, that I recorded in May of this year. We are in October. Hope you guys enjoy, and I really wanted to upload this video, although I recorded it in May, just because it is so good. It's so good. So y'all enjoy it. Bye! Good morning, my beautiful people. Happy money. Make it Monday, okay? Listen, today is a good day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, we got a lot going on today, okay? Let me just tell you a little bit what we got going on. Now, today is Money Making Monday, okay? It's a word I made up because... I trade in the stock market, and y'all know that's what I teach. I teach stock market trading. So, we only trade on Mondays. And uh, my coaching is on Mondays, but it's in the evening. My orientation, you know, um, uh, meeting all of my new students is on Monday, right? So, this evening, I have six new students that signed up last week. So, I'm meeting them today for orientation. We have coaching like right after orientation um this morning i had so much on my to-do list like it made no sense i had to get this little girl uh um uh um uh flea stuff you know you know how you gotta get them the little you know the little trio flea heartworm and all that so i did that I ordered out for chewy so i did that this morning what else i do i went through my to-do list and like you know it was just a whole lot going on in this phone of mine it was just my mm, remind this was crazy what else i do let me look at my thing so my marketing plan with social media i don't like how i market my course and stuff i post on social media so i post on uh, linkedin i post on instagram and that's it for right now and all i post is reels i also post on tiktok but it's not like i'm super consistent with tiktok mm -hmm. so Anyway, I had to create three reels this morning, and y'all TikTok getting on my freaking nerves because they edit it, it's just retarded. It just it just breaks. It's just stupid. It just don't work, and it's frustrating. But that's how I get my leads. So I'm trying to figure out another way. I gotta figure out another way. Maybe it's Cap Cut. Maybe I can edit on Cap Cut or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. So, schedule all my posts for today, this morning. Now, I'm about to get my tail up and get this little girl outside. She's getting on my nerves. And, and we're just going to see what else we have to do today. I got my list right here, though. I got to save some TikToks. I got to film some videos for my other business, my affiliate marketing business. Who child. Now, my affiliate marketing business. Now, that business... It's the same thing. I just post content and I teach people how to break into tech without a degree and without experience because I worked in tech for like seven years before I retired myself, traded in the stock market, and I don't have no degree, baby. I, don't have, I didn't have no experience and I started at the top Fortune 500 company. So I'm like, baby, if I could do it, you could do it. Now, I'm not working no job ever again, but I can help others. You know what I mean? Land that job. Okay? A good job. Okay? These jobs out here suck. But I'm going to help my people get a good job without experience or a degree. And that's my affiliate marketing business. So, you know, affiliate marketer of a course. It's not my course. And I get percentage. Like 45% of the commission. So, I'm, I'm on a, a contract with them. And I got to post 30 videos in 30 days. And I'm on day number... I think I'm on number 21. I think day number 21 so i gotta post three times a day because i'm backed up yeah it's just a lot it's a come on let's let's start the day come on ah. yeah. girl i told you these jobs mm, 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 mm. girl girl Huh? Well, I guess it wasn't meant for me to work here. Yeah, so what, what are you going to do? I got Taco Bell, so I'm just going to have to tell them I need to work full time now. Mm-hmm. Oof. <clears throat> oh, my 
nose is running. All right. Whew. Y'all, my nose running a little bit. Y'all, when I was brushing my teeth, my friend called me. And she said, Paris, my job just terminated me. Child, them, them trigger words for me. Them trigger words. That's why I would never go back to a nine to five again. I don't care. I don't care how bad it get. Teach me how to twerk, bitch. Hand me the heels. Lord, I'm sorry. That's how I feel. So I'm up here helping her. Like, yeah, maybe you could do this. Maybe you could do that. Because she want to start a business so bad. So bad. But her problem is she will start the business and then she'll... It's not working out. Baby! You gave it 29 days. You didn't give it six months. You didn't even give it a year. How do you know it's not working? So... Child, sometimes I just don't know how to help people. Sometimes I get tired a little bit because I see so much potential in people. They don't see it in themselves. And it get on my nerves because it's like I'm wasting my breath trying to help these people. But she'll figure it out. She also lived with me for nine months. Uh, she recently moved out, got her own apartment and uh started her job that's in her profession but using her degree and stuff and so finally got back on her feet for a good march april may june good three months and now terminated again she was terminated before that's why she moved in with me like it's these jobs are just terrible man terrible 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 and the fact that the lady put all these lies on her is crazy just like me y'all the amount of times that I was terminated and threatened of of terminating or telling me to put in my two week notice is it was it's it been crazy. But they told me, you know, to do all that because of my uh chronic disease. Juvenile type oh it's on the side. Juvenile type one diabetes, baby. But she is good. I'm healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. But anyway, they used to threaten me all the time talking about some. You're taking off too much. Like, what you want me to do? I got all of these every three month hospital appointments. What you want me to do? But anyway. <sighs> mm. I'm about to go for a good walk. Me and my sister. Here she come. Hmm? This is water. Because she got bills. Yeah. My hair itchy. Ooh, these braids still holding on. Y'all, we out here. <laughs> and, uh, we all crack it up. We out here, and uh, the goal is to work out twice a day, forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. But we gonna start thirty minutes once a day. Girl, stop that! Slow down, up. No. Come on, sis. Huh? Anyway. We start in 30 minutes, once a day, instead. I used to do twice a day, 45 minutes, and I lost eight pounds. I just wanna lose five more, that's it. If I could do five more, I'll be happy. So, and a good thing about me, and like, I don't know what it's called, but when I do, lose weight I, I i keep it off it's just the number sticks the number stays so yeah so all i gotta do is lose like five more we're good so 30 minutes a day i'm gonna try and do i really want to do twice a day so bad but i gotta get my schedule together 
so I can like implement it at a certain time every day. I used to get up when I did this last year, got up like seven in the morning and I would go walk. And then in the evening after seven, I will go walk because I don't eat no more after seven o'clock. So I might do that again. We'll see. But I need to get my whole plan together. I need to get organized today. I need to come up with a whole plan. Like you wake up at this time, work out at this time, work on the business at this time, do a little school work at this time. And that's it. And then boom, from 12, I don't wanna do nothing else after 12 o'clock. 12 plus, the day is mine. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no work, no school, nothing. Fun time. So I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it together. Girl. Go make some salmon rice and gravy, but I can't, I don't know, I never made it before, but it's a childhood meal. So I gotta call. Please leave your message. Oh! No, she didn't just decline my call. Now I gotta go on TikTok. Now I gotta go on TikTok. Dang it. I just wanna know how to make uh, salmon and rice. Let me go on TikTok. I know I need some onions. I need some, I have the canned salmon. We won't do this again. We won't figure this out, babe. We won't figure this out, by. So I have some canned salmon. I know I need that. I have a whole onion here. I'm gonna cut that up. Um, I have some rice, but I'm not going. I'm probably not going to cook that. I'm gonna put some rice in the rice cooker. Then we have a humongous can of green beans. So that's what I'm gonna make. And then come on to the fridge. It's a little crazy in here, but where 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 here it is? Okay. I don't even know what that is. Oh God. Okay, I'm gonna make this. Got some turkey wings, and I don't know if this is any good. We're gonna see, cause this why is it real slimy under it? Ew, child, we're gonna cook that thing up, okay? We don't waste money out this joint. I'm about to clean that. We're gonna clean it right now. But anyways, let's get to it. Hey, mommy. Yeah. Okay, how do you make salmon rice and gravy, or salmon and then rice? You I'm up here crying, open, uh, cutting up these onions. Oh boy, I'm crying. Mm, 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 mm. Put water on the onion. Oh, I heard about that trick. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. this is exactly what it's supposed to be but I just got a question how did why is it this foil why is why, how how is it in the can and it's fish that's what I want to know but something ain't right about this is this how it's supposed to look I feel like I need to call my mama and, and ask her I don't know we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going 
All right, so we got little bones in there that I gotta like push off. It's not a lot of bones, and I kind of want a little crunch. It's kind of, I mean, it's not bad. They break easily, it's okay. It's not bad. I remember when I used to eat this as a kid, the crunch was my favorite. Look at it. Baby, one can is good enough. Oh, this is so fun, like scraping all the bones out. I wish I could, sh who the heck is this at my door? I don't like when people are at my door. But anyways, when I push the bones out, what I was saying? When I push the bones out, child, now I can't remember. I think it's a package, look like it. Let me see, who is at my door? Let's see if I could look at them on the other camera. Oh, it's Mary, hold on, it's my friend. some salmon rice y'all say hi to my friend this is mary she has she's having a tough day today so if y'all could put some words of encouragement in the in the in the chat for my girl mary yeah but all is well in jesus yes. <laughs> okay let me tell you something let me tell you something that's salmon and rice baby Childhood. Oh, don't fall. Childhood. Huh? <laughs> Too good. Baby. Got my broccoli in here. Y'all see the broccoli? It's broccoli and cauliflower roasted. This is the salmon right here. The salmon. Y'all can't really see. It look how nasty, but salmon. And I made a little gravy. Then we got some rice right here. Then I got some uh, some some bomb looking turkey wings. Oh, let me get it. Look at them turkey wings. turkey wings I'm gonna put that to the side then I got some some green beans Ooh. And then last but not least I just put some pots some salmon uh, what is it called uh, spinach pasta that's it boom meal prep kinda for the week yeah mmm Y'all, I'm tired. That baby is tired. Y'all know that feeling where you're just so tired. It's like your body has a ton of bricks on it. Y'all, I cooked food. I cleaned up. I went for a walk today. I did some work for about a good two hours this morning. I took me a good shower. Now, in 15 minutes, I have orientation with my students <laughs> for 30 minutes. And then I have an, a one hour coaching with my students. Coaching call tonight. I only do coaching call once a week. Orientation too. So now I got to get myself up and together. Get some energy. So I feel like I can go to sleep right now. I need to go downstairs in my office, turn on the computer, get ready for coaching. Because right, co right at the orientation, it's coaching. I got to have everything ready. So let me get up right now and go down here. Now, I know it's a little blurry right now. But not only do I have, and I need to get that too. Not only do I have um, coaching tonight, but I also got to film three videos for my affiliate marketing business 
and I have to uh, do some schoolwork. <laughs> That's okay. This is life of an entrepreneur, life of a full-time business owner, and uh, I ain't going back. I won't go back. I can't go back. Yeah, my house is a mess because my tree, my tree, my sister is moving out. So my house is a little crazy right now. But yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I know I'm transparent. I don't care. I ain't got nothing to hide, babe. I can't go back. Won't go back. Can't go back. Won't go back. Say it with me, Dreamy. Can't go back. Won't go back. We'll never go back. Like I said earlier, hand me the heels, baby. Can't go back. Y'all get it. Okay. So, why am I so close? Let me back this thing up some. Alright. Let me put a little something to the front. Okay. Now, what I do is... So, orientation. No, not, let's not do orientation first. Because that's easy. I just got to... Click on the button is already scheduled in Zoom, so we good. What I need to do is go on Thinkific. That's where my course is on. It's on Thinkific. So I go on there, bow. Because after the coaching, I need the link to get onto the. I mean, after the orientation, I need the link to get into the coaching. Because who has time to keep changing the Zoom link? I won't do that until I hire someone to do all of this. Because I'd be it's just real busy, babe. It's real busy. So anyways, I use Thinkific. That's where my course is housed on. And we about to put this over on this side. So I get the link ready for coaching. I also... Sign into my trading account, my teaching account, and um, I also sign into Yahoo Finance so I can show charts if they ask if there's a stock or whatever they're interested in. I normally share my screen. Yeah, see Yahoo Finance. This is the Yahoo Finance website, and then um, and then on this screen, it's normally my my students and their cameras. Because my students don't like to turn their camera on. I don't know how to change that. I need to talk with my coach. Because I'm getting sick and tired of my students not showing up with their cameras on. Like, I feel like that is disrespectful. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> stop. Let me stop. Okay, let me stop. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. I just feel some kind of way about that. Um, it's too many of y'all. And, and y'all got your cameras off. Then maybe one will pop the camera on, but see see everybody else's camera off. Then they'll turn their camera off. Like, turn your camera on. I, that should be a, a new policy. Cameras on. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, so yeah. So I log into E-Trade, which is my broker, Yahoo Finance. I'm in Thinkific. And all I have to do is go to my course portion. Let me show y'all what it looked like. Hopefully y'all can see. Okay, y'all can kind of see it now. But anyways, this is the outline of it, but this is what it looks like. The actual course and the layout and all that cool stuff is like this. This is probably one of the coachings. See, look at this. All those, they cute. Then my, my people's in now. But anyways, so I'm on this side. The thing where I'm trying to go is to the link. So I'm looking for the link to coaching. Here it is, weekly coaching. Boom, so I just click on Zoom uh join zoom here and that's how i get on into the zoom with my students um normally every single week i would change the zoom link but the last two weeks i haven't probably last three weeks i haven't because i noticed that i need to hire someone because i have so many like, like turnovers so much is on my plate my coach is like Paris it's time to hire your first employee and I'd be like yeah he told me to get my SOPs together and I was like it was a standard operation what is SOPs y'all put in the in the comments put in the chat what is what SOPs stand for standard operation procedures I don't know 
So he said, get all your SOPs together. Now, I did. Like, my SOPs, I do have them all written out. The only thing I have to do is film the videos. And I know my SOPs. Like, I know my turnovers. I know what to do. I know how to respond. I know everything. But my thing is, I keep changing certain things. Like, the day of the week of my webinar. How many a week am I running a webinar? Evergreen. Not doing live anymore. But it's just like, I want to get really consistent for like the rest of this month. And then start that in like July. But I did say that July, I will be fully evergreen and like hands off. So my assistant will do literally everything. I'm going to pay her real good, okay? She's going to do everything. And um, and I'm not going to do anything but show up for coaching and orientation. That's the soft girl life. That is the soft girl life. Soft business life. That's how you do it. So anyway, that's why the link is still the same link from the last two or three weeks. And um, but yeah, I'm going to have my assistant to go in and do that for me. Yeah, I already know I got my little cheat sheet. Okay, my little cheat sheet. So basically, during coaching, I ask for the wins. Then we get into Q&A. And then we get into what are you working on this week? Just so I like know what my students are doing, what they are up to in the course, that sort of thing. And then for orientation, we go through name, where you're from. I go over the whole program. Wait, name from, I want two goals that they are looking forward to accomplishing when they complete the program. Like what is something they want to do with the information that I've taught them right so some of them say I just want to travel with income I want an extra income I want to leave my job I want to start a business like it's just so many different you know so I asked them that then I asked them I go through the whole program like so this is the rundown six-week program um, I tell them like how we meet and coaching and the time is recorded yada 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 right then I asked them uh, we kind of like go through, you know, what I expect, which is homework, gotta get your homework done, stuff like that. And then, you know, ask for their experience and stuff. But it all depends on if we have time. So most of the time, a lot of my students do not show up to orientation and I do not know why. Cause baby, if I'm spending money on a course, baby, I am showing up at orientation. Like, why are you not showing up? And I have emails, email reminder, text message reminder there's no reason why you should not be showing up unless you are at work unless you're at work and you just can't but but yes a lot of my students they sign up and I never meet them I don't know who takes my course I never I never get to know them because they don't show their face or they don't come to coaching and they don't come to orientation but I guess this is the world of coaching and I always say that I am too um, I care too much like when it comes to homework when it comes to people showing up for coaching when it comes to things like that people be like girl you care too much like le let it go it's a business let it go it's okay and I'd be like nah I, I want to know who you are I want to get to know you I want to know how I can help how I can serve like I want you to show up I want this bad way more than what way I want this way more than them wanting it for themselves and that's what suck all right y'all I just had a super fun orientation y'all dumb people let me take these glasses off they tried to make a real thug cry now why would they do that why would they try to make a real thug cry don't do that Dang! I had to bounce back because they were talking about because uh, you know on social media I talk a lot about my story you know having a chronic disease working in corporate America I talk about having a learning disability learning stocks which is already challenging and all that stuff and they are just like thanking me for sharing my testimony thank you for going through my challenges for them like oh my gosh it's too much it was too much and I was like y'all just trying to make a real thug cry y'all stop it 
I had to bounce back a couple times, man. And I, it's the, it's the fact that one start talking, and then the other one start talking. And then it'd be like, I'd be getting choked up and stuff. But anyway, let me go ahead and get into this coaching room. I'm gonna show y'all how I have it. It's so cute. Hold on. Okay, I had to come upstairs real quick because first of all, the music playing, and I ain't trying to get copyright, although I'm not monetized yet, but it's okay. So, I have this cute little countdown. Instead of people coming in at 7 and it's being all dry because we're waiting for people to come in the room and it's just dry. I have a countdown that's like match my brand colors with like this cool little mashup, mushup, whatever they call it. Music, it's just slick. I, I just love it. I just love it. But anyways, let me go back down. Make sure my automation's working. Hi. All right, y'all. This is my favorite thing to do at the end of the day when I've done a good job. Shop's closed. See y'all in the next one.